out there, wonderful people of God, people who are conscious of the fact that if your strength comes from man, it will fade at some point in time. But if your strength comes from God, it is renewed daily. Yes, that explains why Isaiah 40, 31 makes it clear that them that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. Hallelujah. Warm welcome to your weekly gospel encouragement program. Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reed, where we use biblical tidbits to encourage ourselves and miss daily discouragement. We heartily appreciate you all for your all-round support to us and pray that as you continue to support us, may God do you good in Jesus' name. My brother, my sister, if you are yet to subscribe to the YouTube channel, Meaningful 5 Minutes with Mommy Reed, this is an appeal for you to please do so, so that together we can be in lockstep with the little that we are doing for the furtherance of the gospel on this youtube channel may god bless you as you subscribe and share brethren if christ is not your lord and savior of your life this does not mean that if you have not been going to church you might have been going to church but christ is not your lord and savior of your life quit living a life of sin accept christ as your lord and savior before it becomes too late and if you once gave your life to christ but for reasons beyond your control you took back the life please give it to christ while you still have the opportunity to do so. And if Christ is actually Lord and Savior of your life, live a life that is pleasant in the sight of the Father, and that will serve as a magnet and not a repellent to the watching world. We pray for ways and directions to get the gospel across, so that that brother and that sister can come to the saving knowledge of Christ, like yourself and myself. May God equip and empower us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. By the special grace of God, we've been able to share several topics from slots 1 to slot 227. The last being the fact that we need to get a personal word from God for ourselves. Because when we have a personalized word and we are faced with the storms and challenges of life, we will not easily quit, we will not easily give up. We pray that God will help us not just to be hearers of the word, but to be doers of the word in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Today in Slots 228, we have as topic, look beyond your weaknesses. Yes, and our main passage is 2 Corinthians chapter 12, verse 8 to 10, in which God is saying that his grace is sufficient for us. And Apostle Paul is saying in verse 10 that when he is weak, then in God he is strong. Most of us, we tend to focus too much on our weaknesses. We tend to limit, condemn, and judge others based on their human weaknesses. You need to understand that we are only human beings with such weaknesses. But what we are expected to do is to bear it all out to God, to repent when we fall into sin, and to give God the opportunity to use us even the way he used people in the Bible. And it brings to mind this popular song. I am weak, but thou art strong. Jesus, keep me for more wrong. I'll be satisfied as long as I walk. Let me walk close to thee. Just a closer walk with thee. Granted, Jesus is my plea. Daily walking close to thee. Let it be. Dear Lord, let it be. Indeed, we are weak, and so we need a daily walk with Christ in order to get the strength that comes from above. Look at the example of Adam and Eve in the Bible. After they have sinned against God in Genesis chapter 3, God punishes them. But then, in Genesis 3.21, he makes clothes for them which are better than the ones that they have initially made for themselves. God is still able to work with them despite their mistakes, despite their weaknesses. Look at Noah, who is considered a righteous man in Genesis chapter 9. What happens? After the flood, he has gotten drunk and he goes ahead to express his anger by cursing his son. And in Genesis chapter 9, verse 24 to 25, Noah is not just drunk, but he has expressed his weakness and cursed his son. But God has still considered him a righteous man. Look at the likes of Abraham. Abraham tells a lie in Genesis 20 from verse 2 downwards that Sarah is his sister. Then what happens? After he makes amends with God, he repents and gets it right. James chapter 2 verse 23 calls Abraham the friend of God. Are we talking about David? One who is a murderer, one who is an adulterer, and all the other sins that you can think of. In 1 Samuel 13, 14, he is called the man after God's own heart. God is able to use the likes of prostitutes like Rahab in Joshua chapter 2, or even the Samaritan woman in John chapter 4, and the woman caught in adultery in John chapter 8. 
God is able to use them regardless of how dirty and sordid their past is. Look at the likes of Moses, who is not just giving in to quick temper, he's also a murderer. Look at the likes of Apostle Paul, a chief persecutor. Look at the likes of Martha, who is a main warrior. Look at somebody like Jonah, who is running away from his duty post. Look at even Peter, who denies Jesus. Guess what? Once they repent and they make it right with God, God is still able to use them. The way he's able to use you, if you come to him today and say, Lord Jesus, come into my life, wash me with the blood of the lamb give me the power to live right give me the power to hate sin and behold you'll be getting it right before it becomes too late beloved in the lord quit focusing on your weaknesses quit limiting others based on their human weaknesses keep giving excuses or, or stop, quit giving excuses explanations or justifications come to god and repent genuinely because you cannot do it on your own but you can do all things through christ who strengthens you the bible remains the road jesus the code Seeing the obstacle and heaven the destination. Shalom, good people of God.